Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Now, the academic at a non-fiction authors association of South Africa and FASA, I think that's how you say it, has in previous years cemented its responsibility of awarding over half a million rand in writing grants to deserving candidates of academic and general non-fiction works. This is through their annual and FASA grant scheme for authors initiative. So in celebration of their 10th year, can you believe it? The scheme announced and awarded the 2016 recipients of the grants. To tell us more about this, we are joined in studio by Kia Popalamo. She is one of the 24 authors that won, and Monica Sieber, who is the founder of Anfasa. Ladies, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Monica, let's maybe join, let's start the conversation with you before we bring Kia into this conversation. Give us a little bit of a background history 10 years ago. A lot of our, our viewers for the first time this morning will hear about Anfasa. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, Anfasa was actually formed um, 12 years ago, and we started the grant scheme. It's a teenager now. Ten, yes. <laughs> Yes, um, and the idea behind the formation of Anfasa was really to protect the rights of authors. Um, Anfasa is a rights-based organization, but as time went on, we expanded our activities and we expanded our reach, and um, we took on this grant scheme, which I think has made a big contribution mm. to, to writing, uh, the writing and publishing of books in South Africa. Mm. Let me bring Key in because you, mm. you mentioned something, that big difference. When you're one of the 24 authors that have won, mm. how does that change the trajectory of your writing and your life as an author? Uh, well, um, the difficulty for, for me personally and I, I suppose for many authors is that you start writing with the hope that one day somebody will read the book. But um, you tend to lose hope halfway through the process because writing is quite a process. And um, with Anfasa coming in to say, hey, we're here to support you and we'll also link you up with anybody in the publishing and the book industry that you need to speak to so that your book can actually come to life. Mm. That, that for me was, was um, the, the, the push that I needed in the right direction. And um, although in my particular case, my book was halfway done by the time I, I got a hold of Anfasa, um, as we stand right now, I am only a few pages from publication. Oh, cool. And even with that, they have um, actually been so amazing in providing all sorts of support to make sure that publication does take place. So, yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> Talk to me about identifying the 24 recipients that have, uh, that mm. have won the 2016, uh, okay. 2016 scheme. I'll do that. Every year we call for applications around about June of every year. Um, and we advertise the awards quite widely, um, and it's all on our website, so uh, people interested should have a look at our website. And um, then uh, applications come in on forms, and uh, we, the closing date is at the end of no, uh, October. Uh, end of October. Then we set up a selection panel, mm. and we go through all the applications we receive. I think this year we've received over 150 oh. Over. What was it about Kia that stood out for you? Um, like Let me put friend. you on the spot. Yes. Please. <laughs> uh, <coughs> yes, I, I can answer that. You know, a lot of the people who get awards are first-time authors. Yeah. A lot are not. But we're particularly interested in the first-time authors. And the scheme has two sides. One is producing books, of course, because that's what we want to be. The other is encouraging people to write. And uh, Kia's enthusiasm for producing a book was um, something that we really wanted to support. Um, she hadn't written a book before, mm -hmm. and we loved her subject about, you know, about appearances and about, uh, the, about appearance as part of a person. Mm. You know, it was just um, a lovely subject. <laughs> it leapt at us off the page. Talk to me very quickly about, about your book that's coming out. My book is um, <coughs> titled What I Wore. It gives um, a quite detailed account of my life, um, having been um, born and raised in um, Rustenburg, in, in a village in Rustenburg, and how I had to endure certain things, having been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and later borderline personality disorder. It's written from a perspective of a young woman in a village setting, and the primary purpose of writing the book was to tell people of my story. Mm. 
and as well dispel some of the pre-existing myths or notions that you find in, in particular my community which say that um, mental illness is because you have been bewitched yeah. or um, there's something wrong with you when there's actually treatment out there. So I wanted to just put it in perspective to say here I am. I am that person, but I am actually on this and this treatment, and this is how you also get help. So that's, that's what the book is about. Finding, finding um, a narrative, finding a voice in order to tell that story, we underestimate how brave you have to be to tell your story. Yeah, mm. quite. And, and I've come to a point where <coughs> I feel that this is my time to say I am not ashamed of who I am. I am not ashamed of where I've been. And I know there's a child out there who's going to read my book and mm. it's going to help them. My book is about changing lives. And it will change lives because somebody will read it and understand that they don't have to feel bad. There's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. There are people out there to help you. Mm. And that's the primary purpose of having written what I will. Talking about help, Monica, mm. I can only imagine that partnerships are critical when you're hearing great stories like this and you want to publish stories like this. You have a relationship with the Norwegian Embassy? Mm. Yes, that's right. Um, our, our association is largely funded from Norway and um, the Embassy have been extremely supportive. They love this scheme. Mm. And um, every year after the um, grants are made, uh, they give us a lovely party. Uh, here was at this year's party, <laughs> and yeah, and um, all the winners of that year receive. Uh, they've already received their money. Now they receive a certificate, mm. and there's a wonderful atmosphere because one after the other, the grant winners stand up yeah. and say something about their. But it is a celebration, book. isn't it? It's a celebration of writing, and you know, Kia said something really important about how this grant encouraged her to talk about herself because mm. there's so many any untold stories in this country and people are perhaps a little nervous, a little hesitant yeah. in telling mm. their stories and this grant encourages them to come forward mm. and write about themselves. Kia, when is your book published? My book should be published by June. Okay, so we're all going to look out for it. Thank it's you. the founder of Anfasa, Monica mm -hmm. Sieber, and author Kia Palamo. She's written a book. It comes out in June. If you want to find out more about the organization, just Google the details. It's anfasa.org and all the information about the authors, the things that's happening there, the 2016 recipients you'll find on the website. We take an ad break. Don't get away.